Hello and welcome to the annual State of the Union Address for the Gem City Gridiron Roundup Podcast. I am your host, as always, firing it up for what we might as well call Season 3, Gem City Gridiron Roundup Podcast. With me, I have the commish, and as you know, we're sipping on a cocktail. How are we doing, Dalton? Good evening. How is your cocktail? It's good. I just have some straight uh, Wild Turkey 101. Um, tonight, there is a nice store in Denver that sells, uh, it's like Costco for beer and liquor. And I got a 1.75 uh, Wild Turkey 101 for 30 bucks. Is Can't that in be- Thornton? No, it's in Denver. It was Centennial. Oh, okay. Sarah's parents live. So 30, oh, okay, bu- okay. 30 bucks for a 1.75 liter of 101 turkey. Wow. That's a pretty good deal. Can't beat it. Let's see. I've got uh, some Rays and uh, A's baseball going on right now. Bottom of the ninth, two on, two outs. And uh, talking about uh, some fantasy football in April. Yes, fantasy football, baby. It's all year in round. Year, year round sport. Let's see. April 26th at 8 p.m. We're finally starting this bad boy off. Yes, sir. So, as it is April, um, you and I just went on some pretty long journeys. Yeah. Tell us about the great state of Kansas. There's a lot of uh, flat and straight roads, uh-huh. um, but a lot of cool places uh, to see along um, along in Kansas. Went in all the way to Lawrence and then to Kansas City. Saw it was great to get into a baseball stadium again, have a beer, have a hot dog. Froze my butt off, but it was definitely worth it. Um, Came back around, spent a lot of time at uh, KU, toured their athletic facilities, amazing facilities, uh, popped over to Wichita, um, saw a lot of Wichita, a lot of great food, um, and then ran out the trip and stopped in Salina and saw Matthew, um, popped over to Manhattan with him as well. Um, Matthew Lloyd about, Henderson. Yeah, which only about 30, 30, 40 minutes away, Manhattan, KSU. So hit all the big college towns, Kansas State University, Kansas University, Wichita State, um, really cool places. Um, and then back, so about 20, 2,600 miles in nine days, but it was definitely fun. A lot of great food, a lot of great beer. Um, it, was, it was a great trip. That's awesome. And on Tuesday of last week, I got back from a 18-day adventure down to Baja, Mexico on my motorcycle. 5,100 miles in 18 days. <laughs> Lots of gas. fun. How's my gas? Ass. <laughs> oh, my ass. And your, uh, and your my gas. Ass, my ass is fine. My hips were kind of sore. I'm starting to feel like I'm getting a little bit older these days. Uh, so my hips were pretty sore. I felt <laughs> like I was riding a horse for hours. But uh, my gas, well, I had to put myself on a cleanse because, once again, I'm starting to get old. So for the first three days I got back after my trip, I didn't, I went vegetarian for three days and then drank what I call, or what my girlfriend calls poo cider. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll send you the recipe. If any of you have bowel issues, Matthew, I got your number, buddy. Oh, All right. <laughs> that was uh, a, Mexico. I, was am- yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mexico is amazing. Uh, eat shrimp if you if you go to Cabo eat shrimp your whole trip you will not be disappointed nice um Kansas City eat barbecue you won't be disappointed yeah uh I have yet to be to Kansas City it is on my list so good I I ate so many pulled pork sandwiches and ribs and oh man it was it was wild we went to this uh if you watched uh diners drive in and dives um with Guy Fieri um one of the food channel, it's Triple D. We went to one of those, uh, the barbecue joints in Kansas City before the game. Oh, man, they had this one thing. It was uh, like burnt in, burnt in chili. Oh, so oh, good. Oh, that sounds super good. Super good. Homemade barbecue sauce. Ten, the, the most tender brisket I've ever had. Um, and the ribs just fell off the bone. It was, I'm a huge brisket fan. Yeah. Absolutely. The pork was ama- I'm, I'm a big pulled pork person, but that, like the burnt in chili, oh, to die for it was solid we i could have used the nap before our, our baseball game but it was <laughs> it was all right um, food coma food coma yeah well 
Uh, as many of you will notice when you check this out on face or not Facebook on YouTube, uh, via Facebook, yeah, we can do Facebook too. Who cares? I have video that works. Yes, sir. How weird is that? I mean, yeah, it's great. Video Dalton works. Has, audio works. Dalton has upgraded to the 21st century with a new Mac. Everybody. Finally, MacBook pro brand new, fresh out the box. I figured if I'm going to keep doing this podcast thing, I, I better, I better actually put out a decent product. <laughs> so as it is baseball season, uh, let's just, uh, you know, there's quite a few people in our, who are going to be listening to this, who are in the, uh, the fantasy baseball league. So I just want to do a little breakdown of the standings real quick. A little breakdown. Well, Matthew is murdering us all right now. Yeah, he was, he was talking about that. He's like, I don't want it. Like, he's, a, he's like, I've had the target on my back for so long. He was so good. He was good all last year. And then he's starting up good this year. But I said, you don't have the target on your back. You lost. I'm the champion. 1271 on the points for right now as we speak. And only 894 against, which I think is actually the lowest. third lowest. Third, oh, no, no. Third lowest. Wow. Check mine. Uh, you are currently in second place, eleven ten, and you have the uh, sixth lowest points against. Oh, it's so on the average. Okay, I thought it was high. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had it's just had, high for the I had top one. Scored five hundred points the first week. Yeah. Yep. Oh, we just had an Oakland. Home run. I don't know if that just happened or if that was earlier in the game. Sean Murphy, who's been terrible. Looks like the game's over, so that was earlier. Let's see. What else is going on? Uh, LaFon, who was the second-place player. I work with him. You guys probably don't know him. He's currently in third. Steve Marisak, right? Marisak. Marisak. He is doing way better this year. It's in a 1073 in fourth place. I am in fifth place. Uh, at one point last week, I was in first place, so it kind of feels kind of bad to be that far down all of a sudden just because of my points four. Uh, but I feel like last week I was the only one who filled out all of my starts, which was new. Yeah, I think I had 11. Yeah, um, and then we've got uh, Chris Thompson, which you guys don't know, Pat Brown. Ricky Valdez, Zach not Weller. Many the anymore. No, there's there's really our, our uh, baseball and football league is pretty well diversified these days. Former members Matthew and Bill, but yeah, for, former members Matthew and Bill. Speaking of which, let me check my phone real quick. Dead air silence. Uh, yeah. Hey, Zach, can you send our friend the link? He said about 20 minutes. Okay. Sounds good. I will send that to him in just a few. All right. Now we transition because you guys are not here for baseball talk at no. all. Jim city. Great. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm loving baseball, but I guess I can keep that for myself. Um, so first order of business will be talking about some rule changes. Now, the first rule change we got to talk about is one that we already uh, initiated and it has become turned into law, as one might say. I don't know if I had updated it on the rules page just yet, but now that I've reminded myself, I will do that very shortly. Um, going forward, it is a two-week toilet bowl. Is that correct? Two-week two semifinal toilet bowl. Correct. So go ahead and explain to the people exactly how you want that to work, Zach. Yep. So we did this format last year. Everyone agreed to it at the prior draft. I just want to give everyone a, a reminder how it's going to work. Um, it won't show up on the league page um, for the weekly matchup, but week go, go, it's, it's going to be a week later now. So the first two weeks of the fantasy playoffs will now be week 15 and 16. Um, those will be a two week playoff for the bottom four teams. So if Dalton and I were playing in the toilet bowl, God forbid. Um, never, never yeah. happened yet. Um, God forbid. If I scored five more points than him in the first round of the playoffs, I would have a five point buffer. Um, and then it pretty much solidifies the two worst teams into the toilet bowl. So basically you have two weeks to guarantee for two weeks to prove that you are not 
one of the worst two teams in the Jim City Gridiron. Um, again, we'll, we'll remind everybody as soon as playoffs get closer, um, but just a refresher that we are going to be moving forward with that format. So everyone has to stay on their toes. Everyone has to play every week. Um, there's no bye weeks in the Jim City Gridiron. Now, now the real purpose for that is to increase the buy-in for yes. the first two weeks of that semifinal in the toilet bowl, because yes. you can, you can make or break yourself being in the toilet bowl in those first two weeks. Correct. So I think that's, we gonna, want everything to matter. Exactly. So we want them to set that, those lineups in that first round of the playoffs instead of just be like, Oh, I'm in the toilet bowl. I'm going to take a week off. Nope. No weeks off. Um, and you have 17 weeks of fantasy football, baby. Hey, speaking of which, 17 let's weeks. move on to the next, the next topic, which is the NFL has announced that it shall henceforth have 17 regular season weeks, making it 18 weeks, yes. which means we now have 17 weeks of fantasy football as opposed to the 16 we have all grown to know over the past couple of years. Exactly. So the NFL has added that 17th game for all NFL clubs. Um, and it has pushed the fantasy standard back by one week. Um, the standard now is 14 weeks regular season. Uh, and then playoffs, those weeks, those three weeks, uh, 15, 16, 17. No fantasy games in week 18 unless you want to put yourself through that torture. Um, we're not about that anymore. We did no. it early on. Um, but, yeah, so now we will go – 14 regular season weeks, which means you will play everyone in the league once for sure. And three teams in your division twice now instead of two teams. So it's going to help break those division records up a little bit. Um, and now we're back into that, that seven and seven ball club. If you're 500, you're probably going to, you make it now. Um, we ha we've had a lot of teams get sneak in at six and seven, um, I think that's going to be um, dropping off a little bit. Now it's going to be about that seven and seven range. Um, again, we won't play that last, last week of the NFL season. It's going to be interesting to see how teams, I, I don't think they're going to manage any players, but you never know towards the end of the season, um, especially since they changed the the playoff format as well with only one team gets a buy or they can rest players more. Everyone's just got to be prepared. I think um, with moving an extra game, I'm going to enjoy it. Um, it just gives everyone one more week to play. So so Christmas isn't going to be um, the Christmas Day present that you're going to get in a fantasy championship. It might be a New Year's Day present uh, for those that wins the wins the 2021-2022 Gym City Gridiron. It was perfect timing for you to uh, win it uh, right before your birthday, the last time where that's actually a real thing. I know. It was amazing. Um yeah, don't get me started on that. For, for those of you who are the OGs, you remember our first year where we played a full 17 weeks. Or was that the second year? First two years we played First two years weeks. we played 17 weeks. And that 17th week, the championship week, is brutal. It's brutal. You're throwing so out we're second, in, third string running backs. Um, kudos you to You got to drop two, everybody. Kudos to the two teams that have won those. Yeah, it was uh, Matt Jones and – was it Sackett? Sackett. Wow. No, we, we did it three years. We did it three years because I won the next year. Uh, I no, because we switched, we switched to 14 teams the third year, right? Or second year? Second year. We played 14 Second teams. year, 14 teams, 17 weeks. So we did week, week 17 for three years. Yeah. So, and week 17 is horrible, so we should never uh, do that again. Nope. Well, now we're playing week 17 again. Now we just want to play Now week we're playing week 17. It's going to be cursed. Yeah. Um, Damn but, you, Andy Dalton. So that I have is, a championship jersey. Damn you, Andy Dalton. <laughs> he, <laughs> um, that being said, though, that is going to be the fantasy standard across the fantasy platform, 14 regular season weeks with the three-week playoff. Um, some teams have decided – I know some teams opted to do multiple division, like multiple rounds in the playoffs. Again, we're not doing that. Um, we're just going one week at a time minus the toilet bowl. So – I'm excited to implement a week 17 fantasy um, into the Jim City Great Iron once again. Absolutely. Now, Zach, the next order of business, I believe, is the prize. Yeah, let's talk about the entry fee. Um, 
So hotly contested topic. Yes, hotly contested. Dalton and I have gone back and forth on what we want to do. Um, there is going to be a fee increase, not dramatic, um, but uh, prizes um, have gone up. The jersey prices have gone up. The ninety nine or the the hundred dollar jersey is now one twenty. The one fifty jersey is now one eighty. Um, so we have to make up those league costs, um, and then with that third place has to jump up as well. So um, we are proposing that before we before you go ahead. go ahead continue. Sorry. So before you move on, I, I will interject and then you can continue. Before you move on, I will go ahead and share my screen now and show you guys. Oh, I can't share my screen. You. Just kidding. Um, our guest is uh, trying to get in here. Our guest is trying to get in here. Let's let our guest in here real quick, and then we can continue on to the jersey prices. He's connecting the audio. Wait a minute. He, he's there connected to the audio. Hello. Where is the video of oh, the William Oh, it's coming. It's, it's coming, baby. Oh! Oh! It's coming, baby. <laughs> the guest appearance of former champion, former William mm -hmm. Bill Cladaris. How are you, sir? Fan oh, fantastic, gentlemen. How are you? I'm doing very well. My... Good. Great. We had just gotten to the fact that the uh, the entry fee for the Gem City Gridiron has now gone up by $10. Mm -hmm. Ten doll hairs. Yeah. Doll hairs. Oh, man. So... That being said, we are raising the league fee to a 40 flat dollars. So for all you ATM folks that need to pull out $40 on draft day, you can pull out $40 at the library bar and grill. And just hand it over. Just hand it over. Um, hand it over. So we are going up to $40. That prize increase will take care of the $50 in Jersey increases, taxes, um, and then the, uh, the draft board did go up $5 as well. Um, and then, so the other, the debated topic is what we do with a little bit of the leftover money. We're still going to, we've always had about 25 bucks worth of leftover money, which has gone to appetizers or beer or whatever we want at the, at the library bar. Um, so we are going to put up a poll on the Facebook page, um, for current and active league members, not Matthew and not Bill. Sorry guys. Um, sorry, Bill. <laughs> so, um, the three top, the three uh, options are Dalton. You want to explain the options? Before we move on, I just wanted to summarize for everyone who's listening um, exactly what your entry fee pays for. I know when we say we're going up, you guys kind of get a little bit nervous, but honestly, we're all pulling out forty dollars anyway and getting ten dollars change. So what's the difference? So here's what it actually pays for: you are paying for the first place jersey, the second place jersey. The third place entry fee. Zach's got something that I want to try, but I'm on Zoom right now. I'm not in his. <laughs> I, I made a take shift to Cantor. This is just Wild Turkey 101, baby. Oh, okay. It's in that small uh, Laws glass. I got you. Yep. I made Still a works. make shift to Cantor's. Lovely. That's awesome. Great. So you're paying for your first place jersey, which we talked about went up in price. You're paying for your second place jersey, which has gone up in price. Your third place prize, which is the entry fee. You're paying for the nameplate that goes on the trophy suck up cup the suck up cup and you're paying mm -hmm. for the draft board now finally that gets us down to the final point of contention which uh one of our members patrick turn has talked about over and over and over again is putting some incentive into not just the postseason take it away zach i'm gonna go get another drink now that you've uh shown it off what are we talking about uh, Patrick uh, has some concerns. We're, we're talking about the uh, remainder of the funds after what your entry fee pays in, what we're going to do with the excess. Yeah, so the excess fees, about the $60, um, we're going to put up a poll. We're going to give everyone three choices. We can roll that money into just like kind of an open tab. We have, you know, 60 bucks worth of beer, food, whatever, at the library bar, which we've done in the past. Um, and then the other options are a cash prize for the regular season or points champion. Um, we have not decided which one of those is going to happen. So 
So a cash prize, like the 60 bucks cash or whatever, or we can do a material prize for that same group, the regular season champion. For the same price. Yeah. So 60 bucks, like we can do like a hat or we, we can do something material and we haven't decided on that, but those are the options we have cash bar material prize for that first uh, for the regular season champion or highest points. Haven't decided that part or what was the third one or cash prize for that group. Um, so those are our three options. We will post a, I will post a poll with this video on our Facebook group. Feel free to chime in um, about those options, but that's a, we for sure are going to move the league fee up to $40. Um, it's non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. We have to make that money up somehow um, for the price structure. Um, we want to be able to break a little bit even where I don't have to dip into my personal money every year to get something. Um, so for those of you in the baseball league, I obviously have no problem with that, but obviously, um, <laughs> obviously. that'll eventually be a, a league fee money. I was going to pay this year. Um, but, um, those are our options. Um, Bill is trying really hard to open some. It's not working. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's some crown apple. apple. It is. It so is. Those are our All right. Yes. So those are the options. We're going to post a poll. You have three options. It's either we pick up the tab of the first two rounds of drinks for everyone on draft day, or we have a cash prize for first place regular season or first place regular season points, or we have a material prize for first place uh, overall regular season or first place points regular season. Can right? you also have a spiritual prize as well? Is that, a, is that an option? Your, your spiritual prize is my presence. Oh, okay. Good enough for me then, shit. Huh? So, now that we've switched gears into a different drink. No, that's the first cu curse word. What? Who? I didn't curse. I cursed? You said shit. Oh. That, does that really no, you count? you said shit. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's... So, <laughs> as every good pirate does on every sort of excursion, Urgh. they pick up some booty. Here is one replica, or one relic of booty. This is... Uh, Ooh, that's hard to read. No, you're good. This is Liberty Call Distilling. Wow. Limited edition straight rye whiskey product of San Diego, California. Wow. So where's your eye patch? Uh, you don't want to know. Oh. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so let's get to uh, let's get to why Bill's here, and then we can. Uh, then we can cut to a break and come back and discuss some more. How about that? Let's do it. Bill doesn't even know why he's here. I have no idea. No, I don't. I was watching the season. <laughs> I was watching the season finale of Captain, uh, no, a Falcon and Winter Soldier, and Dalton's just like, "Hey, you want to be on here?" I'm like, "Oh, holy, holy do it!" Oh, is it good? Smell that. I would. Where's my mic? There it is. <laughs> Mm. Zach and I got a good whiff there. Probably yeah, that good. was really good. So, the reason why Bill's on, because prior to this episode, Zach and I were having a conversation about the production value of this here podcast. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, William, yes, I, have a, I have a quest for you as you have the appropriate background for said quest. I would yes. like you not, to not provide... Not crossing the Delaware. <laughs> this, is a, this is a Matt Henderson original, by the way. The <laughs> NFT is worth $10 million, and that's where the bidding is starting, just so you know. Zach, are you too boomer to know what NFTs are? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, in other words, you I could, hear it you all could. The time. Okay, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it. We can talk about it now or later, whatever you Stocks. want. Yeah. Uh, first, we're gonna <laughs> blockbuster. First, blockbuster we're gonna stock talk is about... down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Reddit <laughs> monsters died. <laughs> so. The reason why Bill is on, because we've talked about the production value of this podcast. Obviously, mm -hmm. I have greatly influenced the upgrade of the production value by getting a real-life computer. Um, the next step is, Bill, I have a mission for you to okay. acquire intro music, outro music, break music. No and problem. here's the problem with this, though, which mm -hmm. is going to be no problem for you. It needs to be royalty-free. Free. Yep. No problem. Already on it. 
What what kind of music do you want? Do it's you want? Be the same for well, every okay. Episode, though, right? It every has to be the same okay. for every episode. Well, the, that, the, the mid section can be different, but the outro and intro needs to be the same. Do you remember last year when you were listening, and every single time I played the same opening riff from Gemini by Tyler Childers? Yes. For those of you who didn't know, that's the song that I played over and over and over again. And if you actually want to know, if you would listen to the very first episode ever, that was the first intro song. It was, yeah. Too bad that it's not royalty free. Um, my I question love is, that. Yeah. do you want, like, genre? Do you want an EDM, synthwave, hip-hop, house, lo-fi? What you thinking? What, what kind of podcasts? They're all royalty-free. Oh, what kind of, for this? Like, I mean, yeah, what, what we, we are, put on, we are the gems. To every, yeah, yeah, we're the gems like every episode so, of this. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking hip-hop personally. Okay. And then if you wanted to change up in terms of, like, the break music for – the certain type of guest you have on, we can do that. And then the like outro that. be the outro be kind of what you want. So Okay. Um, we can talk about so that. yeah, we can talk about that. So mm -hmm. we got time. What what I'm thinking is uh I by mean this official, might be too much. By the uh, first official episode one. I know this is still we're gonna have a yeah. few this is off season episodes. Off yeah. season episodes, but by mm -hmm. see, by episode one of twenty I want you to have it nailed down. We no have. problem. When is the first episode? As I need to know that. The first episode. R rough idea. Is rough idea. Typically the Monday or Tuesday after the draft, isn't it, Zach? Usually the Wednesday. Wednesday. So, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to Vegas early, so I don't know. No, it, last year I think we did um, Tuesday um, bef after the draft. Mm -hmm. So probably. So, we might just take this on the road and I'll bring my mic and everything and we'll record the episode on Monday before we leave the Airbnb. That was not a bad idea. Cool. Live. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Live Let's podcast. That. Yep. Okay. Let's do that. Let's see. So yeah. month, Labor Day mm -hmm. this year, right? Oh, or is it okay. Memorial Day? Labor, um, day again. Labor Day. Labor Day this year is episode okay. one. Okay. We'll get it done. Season three. We'll get it done way before that. That's the weekend of my sister's wedding. So, I got to get it done wow. way before that anyway. So that's wild. But Where's yeah, we'll get that done. Denver. 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 Mm -hmm. You don't seem excited about that. The The look on your face was interesting. Oh, I'm excited about it. I mean, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, it's just, there's a lot of things in between then and now. <laughs> oh, okay. So <laughs> just it's, like it's stuff to do. Yeah. All right, Bill. Well, we got you before we get anyway. to break. Yeah. How's the new gig? Dude, it's fantastic. Except for one small issue. What is the small Next, issue? Next week, I got to go for about three, maybe four days to go work in Riverton. Only problem. Riverton's but other great. than that, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Might go head to the casino at night, make some money. I don't know. Just go, yeah. <laughs> the stock the market cowfish, casino isn't the... working, so. Oh, you trying to rock the stock market? <laughs> uh, I'm trying. I'm making some money, but not, not as much. Right, not Bill. the millions that I wanted. You know, that's all right. It, it, explain <laughs> to us your new position. What are you doing these days? So I work for this company called Respec. They're an engineering consulting firm. Uh, R E S P E C. Find out what it means to be. R E S P E C. Exactly. Um, but they're based out of South Dakota. They have an office here in, in Cheyenne. Um, we just do pretty much either mine mit uh, mitigation or construct construction consulting. So for either hazards or just kind of watching construction crews and saying, hey, you're doing this right or doing this wrong. So we don't, and we work with, uh, well, I mean, government a lot, state government, a bit of federal, depending on the project, and um, a little bit of um, commercial businesses as well. So, all right, He's, so, this is perfect yeah. advertisement right there. Thank you. Oh yeah, so respect. Yeah, and if you guys want to get hired with them, I get a good sign-on bonus, so we can split it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just say it. I'm quite satisfied, but I really appreciate the oh, offer. Of those oh, of you I know, who, are who uh, hey, this is going to be the first time that this gets released to the football and the baseball crowd yeah which might be a mistake because of where i work and the uh the ball busting that takes place major ah, ball you'll busting. be fine you'll be fine major ball bust i don't know all right i took a lot of heat when i was in rollins really oh, geez. yeah you did but it was a good ass time though oh man we hadn't <laughs> talked about that on one of these episodes yeah let's yet. talk about it well let's do it after the intermission what do you want to do hey you know what we're gonna leave them on this cliffhanger bill Ooh. i'm gonna give you about two minutes to find a decent break song and you can okay. hit play on that motherfucker and then we'll cut right. it to break i got you
All right. Well, yeah, roll until yeah, Bill which... finds a song. Bill's, Bill's finding a song. Oh, Zach, you can move on to the next topic. The yeah. Out. I got you. Got you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not on the outro. We're on the break song. Zach, fire this bad boy back up if you haven't already. already and uh, next topic is draft weekend. Draft weekend. So the first step in draft weekend is not the NFL draft. No, 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 no. The first no, no, thing no. we're going to talk about is the NBA draft. And everyone Ooh. knows why we care about the NBA draft. First of all, the NBA regular season ends on May 17th. 16th. So, well, the final games are on the 16th. So on Monday morning when you wake up on the 17th, you will officially know which team you need to be following on the NBA lottery. And, Zach, when is the NBA lottery? It is actually – the NBA lottery is on June 22nd in the evening. Um, And by then, after that May 17th, again, we will assign everyone their team for the NBA lottery. We will link the tankathon.com website. Um, and you can look at your odds and everything, and you will be assigned your team. And the hope is that everyone tunes in to the NBA lottery that night and watch the NBA lottery unfold to see where you, you, yes, you, are drafting. Yes, you. Are drafting in the Gym City Gridiron. But in a fantasy football 2021-2022 draft. Hey, this is the first year we get to say two years combined in one fantasy season due to uh, week Corona. 18. No. Yeah, so, Bill, the NFL season is 18 weeks now. Oh, yeah, it is. I did see that. So, just, they, so with that now, um, we will not be doing an average. In the past, we've done three a three-time average. Out of necessity. Mm-hmm. Due to COVID, we did the two-year average because they weren't – or the two-time average because um, we weren't sure if they were going to start the NBA on – NBA on time, which we were correct. Um, so but this is the first year we are strictly going with the NBA lottery. No holds bar. No one can question any of our motives whatsoever. Just blame Adam Silver and the NBA. I mean, might as well. <laughs> might as and, well. And, Bill, you look like you're right there with the appropriate song based on the lights that are showing up on your white jacket. <laughs> yeah, I've got them always going. Uh, they're, they're there if I move my, remove my background, but my room's an absolute shit show, so we're not doing that. Uh, where the hell is <laughs> – where's – My office setup is not, is not the, uh, the nice to see there. It's the next thing on the list. Yeah. So, some notes well, from mean... the lady. Oh. Renner. Oh, Old computer, which we'll not talk about ever again. Gun safe. <laughs> Big safe for all the guns. Baseball. Baseballs? Oh, baseball. Aquaphor. You got to have aquaphor. Every good household got some aquaphor. <laughs> That's for the cats. <laughs> all right, Bill. I, I've done enough, Phil. Are you ready? Yes. Question, though. Uh, no questions. Just play. No, I, I, well, how can I play it? You guys can't hear it. Mm, we didn't really work that out. Mm-hmm. All right. With that, we're gonna cut <laughs> we're gonna cut the break. And when we come back from break, Bill will have figured out the technology that makes it happen. Yep. All right. We'll be right back with you. Are you pausing now? Yes. <laughs> All right, and we're back. We couldn't figure it out, so I had to uh, call an audible. <laughs> um, anyway. anyway, so the story we left on a cliffhanger was the story of Zach Stewart making his rum springer to Rollins, Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go ahead and tell us the story, my friend. You, you got some good ball busting. <laughs> what? I said you had some good ball busting while you were down here. Your balls were busted. Oh, yeah. My balls were busted by a bunch of Dalton's coworkers. Um, apparently, the, the prison folk love pop champagne down they love it. in uh, the Wyoming State Penitentiary um, corporals Yee-hee. and officers and everybody that loves pop champagne. Um, and they immediately noticed that I was definitely in that video. 
And they proceeded to play it multiple times. Yep. That night. Over my TV in my bed in my uh, living room. Yeah, it was brutal. I can't believe Dalton that w- has to go through that pretty much every day, probably. Every day. <laughs> it's a good song. We just look, we just looked funny. That's it. It's 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 a good song, but hey. it's very embarrassing in a work yeah. setting. It is, but that's royalty free. That's what you're saying. Kind of. If I can find the instrumental, if I, if I can find the instrumental again, we'll do it. Just the instrumental. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they every time, just about once a month, I'll show up to work and they'll be like, "Hey, when's the sequel?" Don't tempt us. No. no. Don't tempt us. No. No. Because no. we all know that Jordan or Josiah wanted to win that poker game, not me. So I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying. So what else do we need to talk about? The NFL draft coming up? Oh, uh, well, let's talk about our draft. Um, just a reminder. Ah, uh, yes. Everybody oh, yes. that always asks me, when's, the, when's our draft? When's our draft? It's Labor Day weekend, guys, every year. Sunday, Labor Day. Labor Day. I don't know what day that is, the actual day. I have confirmed with the library. We are solid and good to go. Library Bar and Grill, again, on – Sunday, September September 5th, 5th at noon. High noon. Be ready, the everybody. Fifth. Um, Mountain Standard Time. If you are oh. interested in coming to Laramie the night before, folks that actually have to travel in, we do have an Airbnb that, has, that can sleep seven. We have six guests with us already. Um, Dalton, myself, Cody Sackett, Cody Blaster McGee, um, Patrick and my brother all in one Airbnb to start. Um, we do have room for one more. If anybody is willing, um, people that travel in Cole, <laughs> raising Cole, Heath, anybody that's willing to want to put up with our shenanigans for warning, Luke is in his own separate bedroom. Oh, thank God. I was about to ask that. Lumberjack Luke- symphony. <laughs> Lumberjack we symphony. are going to squeeze Luke onto a twin size bed, but that's his choice. Um, that's the only room that's private that can just sleep one. Hope to God he does. The Lumberjack you know. Symphony. Yeah, maybe Dalton and Luke can share the twin size bed. And yes. Be a little cozy. That's but probably what's going to happen if eight of you want to show up. That will be the weekend. We do have that Airbnb for two nights, Saturday night and Sunday night. Um, we will be traveling down on Saturday. Um, so that is the draft day. Um, we will hammer that through everyone's head every time we jump on the Gym City Gridiron Roundup podcast. So we'll see everybody then with their 40 bucks. Is there anything major we have to talk about left? No, we talked about the fee and the draft. And Let me look at our notes one more time. Oh, Don's got notes, man. This production has very much stepped up. <laughs> Our pre-production show meeting was at work while in, uh, direct messaging <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, because I found that Instagram is a uh, is much easier to direct message at work. You know, you know, like internet blockers and stuff. Yeah, for the state and stuff. Yeah. Yep. So let's talk about this. I think there are two certified Hall of Famers in the upcoming NFL draft. Ooh, this and. Like, Yep, and neither one of them is a quarterback. All right, uh, all, both offense. Defense. Yes. All right, let me take a stab here. Now the problem with defense is you it's really never know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's got to be you don't actually know what you're getting. Are Are we going to talk about the unicorn and Kyle Pitts? So that's one of the Hall of Famers. The unicorn. Kyle he Pitts. is amazing. He has the largest wingspan of any ever. offensive player ever. Wingspan of skill position. Right. Ever. Ever. How I'm, crazy I'm, is I'm that, real, Bill? I'm real interested. I, Say I that one more time. I had an ad. Like, I, I'm just a little nervous still. Like, it's still real. Kyle cool. Pitts, tight end, Florida. Six, the six, best six, offensive five. weapon in the draft. He has the largest wingspan of every of any offensive weapon ever in NFL history. Hopefully he doesn't hmm. bust. He is a Hall of Famer. 
And the other one is there's a couple of them. Yeah. They gotta be it's first. Got a lot of stuff. Pick, Good stuff yeah. they, are you are you talking think of Jamar Chase? No. Receive position? Nope. Nope. Justin Fields has to be. Nope. No, he needs a QB, never mind. A running back then? Nope. Awesome. Trey Lance. Nope. No, he's QB as well. Never mind, yeah. Oh, uh offense that could be some O line. Yeah, it give, could be some O line. Me, oh, how okay. about Ooh. Oh man! It could if be I a, give the college, it's a dead giveaway. Is it? Is it Quiddy Pay? Landon Dickerson. Nope. 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 No, not Landon Dickerson. Quiddy Pay is that Michigan defensive end, yeah. right? Yeah, he's yeah. going to be good. Tackle, but, so it's uh, either Rashawn Slater or um, um, Penny Sewell. Christian Penny Dal- Sewell. Oh. Mark okay. it down right now, Penny, Penny Sewell. Sewell. Hopefully, of the Cincinnati Bengals who just changed their so you, uniforms. You are you are in belief that the the Bengals should take Penny Sewell. Yes. Yes. The they might have to. They might have to trade up one pick to get him. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, because you know who's going to move out of that spot? The Falcons. Atlanta. Atlanta is going to move out of the four spot. No, that's what's. They, they might move out to the four spot, but it's going to be for a quarterback or Kyle Pitts. So the the that first cool trade fact. of the draft will be Atlanta moving out of the four spot. To who? I don't know. Whoever that's- wants Penny Sewell. I don't think so. I think Penny Sewell, like people at four are going to trade up for either the the fourth quarterback or Kyle Pitts. They're talking Why? about Kyle Pitts going four. Cincinnati is not drafting a quarterback. Why would you trade up for a quarterback there? No, I'm saying people would trade up to four. Cincinnati I know, but five. they don't. They don't have to jump Cincy, is what I'm saying. And Atlanta is not taking a quarterback. They might. If they if they move out of that spot, think, they're they. I don't know, man. I don't think it, the Falcons are going to take a quarterback, but it wouldn't surprise me if one of these other teams jumped in to take the fourth quarterback, or the Falcons just take Kyle Pitts. What quarterback would you take? Depends on which one's last. Well, I mean, it's well, going to be. Depends on if you believe Mac Jones is going three. He is. No. You think so? What do you mean, no? Ah. I just don't see it. Who I mean, the hell else would they have traded to the three pick for? Trey Lance. Trevor Lawrence. Zach Wilson. They're Just, gonna be gone. Justin Fields, you think so? You don't know what you don't know what I want to believe. What's up? I want to believe the Jets will not make the most Jets pick ever and take a BYU quarterback <laughs> in number two. That's what I I truly don't want them to take Zach Zach Wilson. Why? He's good. He, I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, the Jets pick for them would be to take Justin Fields and turn him into a bust. That's the know. Jets pick. No, I think thinking the the young the small small college quarterback would be weird. Um, but neither here nor there. I think whatever Kyle Shanahan does, whether it's Justin Fields, Trey Lance, Mac Jones, whatever it is, I don't really care. I it's think gonna work. I will like it'll work no matter what. Kyle Shanahan can pick whoever he wants. Yeah, but. True. I I don't really care. I, the draft starts at at four because we all know three quarterbacks. Four? One, two, three. Oh, pick four. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure it starts oh, at oh. six, bud. <laughs> Wait, who's six? No, no, no. The, time. Time. The time. Oh, time of 1800. Day. Don't get confused. You thought you meant four o'clock in the day. I was like, oh, shit. I got to leave Not early pick on four. Thursday. Yeah. So we do know, yeah, the first three picks are quarterbacks. It depends on if mm-hmm. a quarter, if someone wants to trade up to take the fourth quarterback or they to jump to Cincy. Pick at four. I don't know, man. Wait. Well, if if you're Cincinnati, you take. Five. I know. If you're Cincinnati, you're okay with either Pitts or Sewell. Yes. Yeah. No one's gonna. No one's gonna trade up to four to take Penny Sewell. Yes, they will. Not with this hey. draft class. Not with the quarterbacks going off the board and. Jamar well, Chase I guess Slater Penny. is a really good tackle too, but I think Penny Sewell will be. People are talking about Penny Sewell dropping to like ten. Well, it's whoever picks bad. ten is getting a Hall of Famer. That's the Cowboys. Yes. I think the, I think the Bengals would be crazy to pass on Penny Sewell. Like I agree. I, I know everyone wants to see the Jam, uh, the Joe Burrow Jamar Chase show in the NFL, but I don't. I want to see Joe nope. Burrow on the field for the next ten years. Yeah, I want to see him upright. 
Yeah. I saw a meme on Bengals official Twitter. I think I sent it to you. Or did I send it to the group chat? Of uh, uh, It was the Cincinnati Bengals official Twitter, and it was a meme of Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase. And it was all of the defenders on top of him and Jamar Chase holding his hand up. And then the other meme was Joe Burrow with Penny Sewell. And it's a perfect pocket with him throwing to anybody. I think they would be crazy. I, I know people are to talk about, like, I mean, if Pitts is there, they could probably trade out a few picks and maybe get Penny Sewell still or Rashawn Slater. Um, but they need to take off that tackle. If I'm the Falcons, I'm making it seem like I'm going to trade this pick to someone who wants Penny Sewell, and you call the Bengals and say, hey, man, can you do better than this? Because if you can't, someone else is drafting him. I still don't. I just don't believe Penny Sewell is going to go. Kyle Pitts is the unicorn, man. People, Kyle Pitts, if it weren't, wasn't for these other two quarterbacks, Kyle Pitts would go two. Here's the problem. It doesn't matter how good you are. It also matters a lot more need in the yeah, NFL. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Do, do you think one of these other teams outside the top 10, 11, 12 are going to trade up for that quarterback? No. For, for, for the quarterback, Justin Fields or Trey Lance? No. I think they're just going to let him fall and see you. A little bit. One of one of those guys is going to go in the top ten, but I don't think it's at four. Which one falls? Which one's the last? Which one's the fifth quarterback? Fields. Probably not, but I kind of hope it would be because I actually think I believe in Lance more than Fields. There's rumors that Shanahan's enamored with Lance. I heard it's Lance or Mac Jones. Yeah. If, if Mac Jones – if, it, if it's Lance three, then I can see someone Mac trading Jones. up to the fourth pick to get Mac Jones. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm super excited for the NFL draft. One of the best days of the year. I will be working. It will just be a bud in my, my head while <laughs> just watching. But I'll be working. That sucks. I'm going to be leaving work early just so I can get it. I will be, <laughs> I will be leaving as soon as it's – so we have co-ed – leisure volleyball playoffs um and so they don't have so, so there's lame no, there's no so there's lame. no playoffs in co-ed leisure it's the regular season champion wins the regular season champion is already won they're undefeated there's one game to go they, they're they have a one game lead. i, I got the black left. lung pop <laughs> so my plan is they play at 6 30 my plan is to crown their champions at 7 15 and book my ass home we better to be, to be home by pick six are you coaching or not no, coaching? Roughing? Roughing? I mean, league. I have to give them their T-shirts and take a picture and make sure they all have their Benadryl and uh, Advil at the end. <laughs> yeah. Ice packs for the knees. Mm-hmm. Ice packs for the knees. All right, I think that we've reached the end of the topics. Uh, we turned what is typically like a fifteen-minute tops video into into something more, which is not a bad thing. Mm-mm. I'm not complaining. No, it's been a great um, hour and a half since we've gotten oh. on. <laughs> hour and 20. Um, I don't know how much they've actually heard. It's probably been about 35 minutes. I'm not sure, but I don't know. With but that I'll, being well, said. That being said, uh, when, when, when will we do our next episode? After the lottery or just before? Oh, so I think you if should. You've made, if you've made it this far. Obviously, Congratulations. still in the fantasy league. Um, yeah. If for some reason you are backing out of the league, I need to know now. ASAP. Mm-hmm. I need to know as soon as possible. I don't. I think everyone's coming back, but um, if for some reason you are leaving, I need to know as soon as possible so we can make the arrangements in the draft order and everything along those lines. I will also caption that with our video. Um, and with that being said, Zach will be making personal contact with each and every one of you in the league to ensure that you are coming back. And if you are not, then your spot will be filled very abruptly. Exactly. People want to play. Um, I hope everyone wants to come back. It's a very competitive league last year. Um, so let's run it back, fellas. <laughs>